How lovely. How lovely to see you, Nancy. <laughs> Thanks for coming to our talk. I like this lolly. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to OMG Planners, and we are here to show you how to organize your day in our vertical weekly planner. <gasps> Nancy, can I tell you something fun about this planner? Yes. Okay, when we designed this planner, me and the gal that helps me do like the technical, get them all ready for print file, mm -hmm. we looked at each other when we looked at the final review of it, and we were like, we just made the best planner ever. Really? I know, it can't even be called a humble brag. That just feels like a brag. So I'm very uncomfortable saying those well, words right now. But that is what we said to each other. That's we amazing. Like, the vertical, it just has everything. You can really use this vertical planner in a bunch of different ways. Totally agree. Couldn't, you couldn't can agree time more. lock. You don't have to time lock if you don't want to. If you're a lister, you can list away. Yeah. Yes. It's, and you can split the day if you don't want to do times. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways. How many ways do we have? We have five different ways. Five of the ways. I feel like you look really Christmassy and festive right now. I am Christmassy and festive. We're in December. Feels Christmassy and festive. We're both wearing our sweaters. We oh. are. Oh, oh, look at us. Ready? Together, we're a dream team, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh, vertical planner boa. It's really itchy, so we should probably wrap up this okay. intro. <laughs> Let's go look at that vertical planner. I just can't wait to see what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you five ways. How many ways? Five. We're gonna do five of them. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Nancy, I can't wait to see what you did oh. in the vertical so you can show us all the ways. We're gonna show you how to organize your days in our weekly vertical planner. Here we are. Woohoo! Boink. Oh, I just love this cover. This it makes is me happy. Floral Fellowship cover. Yay. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Five ways to organize your day. March. Ooh, you knew which which month I you went to. You are a professional. I did. <gasps> this is called time blocking. Some of you may be familiar. I love a time block. Lolly, can you describe what is time blocking? Time blocking is just sectioning off the parts of your days for different things. You can color code when you time block. You can not color code if you want, but it just helps give you a visual reminder of how much open space you have and how much filled up space you have. I spent a lot of my years when I was home with the kids operating in the margins, getting a lot of my to-do list done in the margins. So it's really helpful to see your margins, mm -hmm. like you've put your runs in your margins yeah. here. And for this time blocking here, this was how I would do my day normally. I have a lot of roles at work. Everybody- Just a few. Just a, just a tiny <laughs> few. We have email and admin. I made that one color and I, I like to that. do that in the mornings. And then I have making content, shooting videos, and then photography. And those are tasks that take an active amount of my brain. Yes. Uh, and so. <laughs> Post coffee. <laughs> I like to do those first. Yes. And then I have my design tasks for the stickers, covers, and then my own personal project, I do those in the evenings or the afternoons when I kind of feel like chilling. <laughs> Absolutely. And I love that you do your admin first because sometimes if there's a thing that takes a lot of my brain space um, that's creative, you know, mm -hmm. like making the content and stuff, I can't do it until these admin tasks are done. And I do these best first thing in the morning, yeah. just like you. So you have your coffee while you're doing it, then it kicks in all about the caffeine regulation <laughs> in the various parts of the day. But I love this because I can't do this until I've done this. Uh huh. So I like that. What's funny is that when I was doing this and I was like, probably making like a hot drink is part of my admin. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As shown earlier in the office when we were all crowding yes. around our little frother machine. One other thing about how I created this spread and how I created the schedule was first mm -hmm. I listed out all of my tasks that I needed to do this week. And then as you can see, I color coded them by the type of task. Um, I love that. Yeah. Yes. So, and then I brought that color coding over to here. Uh-huh. And you put some of those to-do lists here, but you also put some here. I did. Now yeah. that you're saying that, I made my weekly to-do list, then I made my daily to-do list. Right, because you pulled from it to and, assign it a day. And then I yes. blocked it out, I'll say. But honestly, day. that does <laughs> feel like overkill, right? Like some people are like, really, do you have to write that down in all those places? And you don't, but also it really helps. It because does. every time you're writing it, it like solidifies it in your brain. And for me, 
it makes me feel calmer about what I have coming up when it's like been in my brain that many times in that physical writing down way, there's got to be science. I think there is. There's definitely science. There's definitely science. Somewhere out on the internet. There's science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Science. <laughs> It also helps because, as I've said before, I am guilty of underestimating how long a task is gonna take me. For sure. When I have my weekly to-do list and then I'm writing it as my daily to-do list, I can be like, Nancy, are you really gonna be able to make that video and finish those stickers oh and illustrate that all yes. in one day? I have so been there. <laughs> Perhaps not. Yeah, let me move that to that day. Yes, Or exactly. like, I'm just gonna do a quick run that day. It's not gonna be a long. And also, you get to cross this out in so many places. I know. Oh, oh. oh. that's my Oh, job. we'll get to that in our to-do list okay, section okay. here. Okay, okay, so this is way number one, which is time blocking. <gasps> time number two is to big, do. giant to-do list, a daily to-do list. So you didn't use the time at all here. I didn't do the time at all, yeah. I love it. What I did is I used my priority box at the top for on Monday. I have to finish those stickers today. So Big like deal. that's number one. Mm -hmm. And then I just did my giant to-do list. And like you got that because here on your big calendar, it says stickers too. Yes. Like you see your big deadline and then you have that. Okay, I need that is Drop dead, have to get that done. This is so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Obviously I didn't need to write out to do for oh, every single day. Oh, but I kind of love that you did. <laughs> Thank you, I enjoyed it too and how I coordinated it with my dinner planning down below. Yes. Oh, this is like really fun. I like that your priority on Sunday is chill. Yes. That also is my priority. Yes. Face mask, yes. <laughs> yes. And this is one of the things I love about to-do lists, putting things on my to-do list like face mask, like going to brunch, like yes. doing these things that aren't really a task and like calling my grandma, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of a task, mm -hmm. but I still get to check it off. I love that. Yes, it's all about that check off. Yeah. Well, that is self care right there. I feel like this is a really good for maybe an intro. If you want to use your vertical planner and you're a little intimidated by the time blocking, just like try, try out a to do list. And then I think eventually what you're going to find is that you'll look at this and be like, well, you know, I want to do this in the morning. How long is that going to take me? Maybe I should just block off some time for that. Yeah. Or you're, you're realizing that you're not actually getting all of your things done on your to-do list. And it's probably because you're over scheduling yourself. Right. Definitely. Or sometimes you're like so stressed out and you're like, I have so much to do, but you realize, wow, I really like, I got all that done by one. And I did have time to do that extra stuff that yeah. I wanted to. Like there was time to make that fancy dinner that I was, you know, the recipe or whatever it is. I love it. Type this, two. this is awesome. Type number three. <gasps> this is taking that to-do list and organizing it by work, personal, and wellness. So again, ignoring our times and just using this story. I love this. Yes. Also really love her. <laughs> yeah, cause ain't no work happening on Saturday or Sunday. Ain't no work happening. Just some like purple wine. Obviously, <laughs> the only kind. <laughs> The only kind of wine I will drink. This was really fun for me overall to do these five different ways because it really made me think about what works best for me. I love that. And sometimes time blocking, if you have a week where you're busy or you're not really sure of your schedule, it's mm -hmm. not always the best way to yeah, do it. Yeah, time blocking can be really tough sometimes. It can. What I liked about this is it made me not only just value my work to-do list, but it also made me value my personal and my wellness to-do list. I love that. Just by separating them. I don't know what it does for my brain, but it works. Oh my gosh, I can tell you why. Because if this were like this huge list maybe, mm -hmm. that is so overwhelming. Literally why our planner is designed the way it's designed because separating things out makes it less overwhelming. Yes. You know, so it's like there's a place for everything, but you can still see the big picture of it all. Yes. Oh, and just to go into what I did, I had my weekly to-do list here. Oh, I have my key down mm -hmm. here. Work, personal, do. wellness. Highlighted my weekly to-do list with the colors and then brought it over to here. I love it. I just put my weather up here and oh, my meal planning down here. Yay, I love the meal plan down there. I'm really excited about this method. I might yeah. try this for a week or something. And yeah, I think that's goes. a really cool way to use it. Mm -hmm. This was type number three, a categorized to-do list. These categories can be whatever you want them to be. It doesn't have to be work, personal, and wellness. What yeah. are some categories? Maybe kids. Kids. All I do is work, personal, and wellness, and kids. <laughs> I have no other thing so to say. So you could have four categories. Or actually, if this is your work planner, you could have photographs, videos, admin, 
Like you could separate it in that way, which I think would be really cool. No one can see my face right now, but my jaw has dropped. <gasps> I, I think love it. that is actually what I'm gonna try. Yeah, because that's most of your yes. job and you know you have to edit this that day. You know you have to video this or draw, illustrate. She does so many things, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So that was type number three. Maybe we should have switched these, but type number four is splitting your to-do list in AM and PM. I think I mentioned earlier that in the mornings, I'm more into doing something that uses my critical brain. Just gonna take a little bit more work. I wanna get that done in the morning, right after my caffeine, when I'm feeling fresh. This is so <laughs> great. And this is so approachable this way. This way, it totally is. Yeah, you're so approachable. You know, every, I feel like a lot of people, you eat lunch and then you're just kind of in a different mindset. Yeah. At least that's how I am. Oh, so me too. I like this way as well. Yeah. In the PM, I do some of my more personal tasks, yes. finishing stickers, illustrating, stuff that's yeah. a little more fun and mindless. Now that my kids are in school, starting at three is like personal time. You know, mm -hmm. like what am I gonna do that's fun or with the kids? Whether you work and that time starts at five and you stay up and do a lot then, there is that like shift in the day. It is, yeah. And then up here, I changed it up. Up here, I did my meal planning. Right. And down here, I was really <gasps> excited about it. My water, how many Nalgene's I drink. Oh my gosh, Nancy. And this did is I amazing. stretch? And did I yes. walk or do exercise? And I, I get to color to. in my little shoe if I did if I exercise. You guys, I'm squealing in planner girl right now. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> okay. Type number four, AM PM split of your to-do list. Love it. And now here we are, type number five. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Multi-columned time blocking. Y'all, just take a deep breath because you're gonna feel overwhelmed right now. But don't. Yeah. I will say I did make up children for this. I thought that this was a good oh, this is technique if you have multiple children or you have yourself and two children. Mm -hmm. Or like sometimes like self one child or if you're caring for your parents that are elderly or a partner or something. It's like, yeah. what is their schedule? What is your schedule? Okay, explain it. So that's exactly it. In this situation, I have three children, Iris, Helen, and Fred. I really like, you do have Fred. Fred is her dog. <laughs> I also really love the name Iris, Nancy. Uh, okay, Iris and Helen, those are the names of my good friend from college's kids. Oh, I love really that. Cute. That's so cute. Yeah. We have Iris, she is my middle child. <laughs> She's in daycare yes. four days a week. I love that choice for you. She has a doctor's that. appointment here. Yeah. Uh, Helen is my youngest child, potentially an infant. And she, so she's just hanging with me all day, but we're going on a play date. We're going oh. to the museum. She has a doctor's appointment. She has a little baby swim class. Oh my gosh, of course she does. I love your <laughs> pretend children. <laughs> and then I felt like I was being really gender norm, but Fred right. apparently oh, right. is doing all the sports. He's swimming in the morning and he's going to football practice and he has a game on Friday. Wow, yeah. Fred and Iris are both going to their grandma's on Heck Saturday. Yeah, which mommy died on Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why I'm able to take Helen for a swim. Oh, and then on Sundays, we're not doing anything. Yes, everybody is chilling. Chill day. Yes, everybody's just hanging out. Honestly, I would make this line thicker so that it would separate the days. That's a great a idea. A little bit, I would just go over with like, not a Sharpie, not a Sharpie. <laughs> Maybe a thick colored pencil or something here. here. And then you can really see your days. I like this, I'm down with this. Down Especially with, this. with the color. I think that would, oh, there you go. There the you color go. is. Not thick. She's not thick. I know, she's like the least thick. What would you recommend? A uh, color pencil. I will say, while I was making it, I did accidentally put Iris in Helen's column. <gasps> Had to white out a little. Oh no, there we go. Yay! So yeah, separating your columns, juggling multiple people's schedules. In this layout, it, it lets you see the open space. I know that when I had two little ones at home or just all over the place, you have three. I know. Oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. Tough life. Meanwhile, Maddie has four. I don't know. I know. Mm -hmm. And she pulls us together. And you can see some open space, which, yeah. I, you know, for me, I'm always saying that. But since I'm so visually oriented, I really do have to see that or see it full mm -hmm. or I panic. Which is <laughs> the beauty of the time blocking. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. I love it. <gasps> nice flip through. This is awesome. <laughs> This is great. And 
So everybody knows I use the mild liner highlighter sets. And then your little pen is your Sakura, right? My Micron Sakura 005. Oh yeah, girl, you love this one. This buddy right here. Yes. I love that you use the midliners. Look, there's no bleed through either. No bleed through. Even when I colored my little, uh, yeah, these and guys. Oh yeah, oh no bleed gosh, through. gosh, that's awesome. Amazing. All right, Molly. Mild liners. Mild liners. Or did we say midliners? I think you said midliners. Darn it. <laughs> well, Lolly, that was that. I hope this was helpful for everybody. I actually was really helped. I cannot wait to post this video. Yay, good. <laughs> Y'all, thank you for watching. If you want an intro into the Vertical Weekly Planner, you can go watch that video. And we'll keep posting even more. Watch out for a video showing how to use our project planner. Mm -hmm. That one's gonna be really interesting. Coming up. How do you wanna sign off? Uh, May your time blocking be square and sturdy, <laughs> but your Sundays remain open with no time blocking. Also your Saturdays. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. <laughs> I found some tissues in my pocket. Don't get much for letting us know. <laughs> Christmas season <laughs> that. Uh, well. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is that? The ghost of Sunday scaries. <laughs> Come back to haunt us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay.